What's up fools, it's Ghost Fool, and today I'm going to be talking you through some of my paintings. So, one that I finished a while ago that I am very proud of is going to be Candyland. Candyland, I put a lot of work into that, had endless nights of painting, it was, it was something, but I really like how Candyland came out. So, some of the things that I liked about doing Candyland was when I was concepting, like conceptualizing the piece, I just had as much freedom as I could do and if I wanted this or that I would just put it in I re like revised the sketch for Candyland I want to say at least four or five times of different sketches and stuff and yeah it was just very I had pages written on what I wanted Candyland to look like with all the Pancake Hill or Pancake Valley sorry Cake Slice Hill. I had a whole story written out for this canvas, so I feel like getting it done is a big accomplishment for me. Another thing that I really liked about this was that since it was a 24 by 36 canvas, I had so much space to put in extra detail or anything I wanted. Like if I have space in the corner, maybe I could put in another gingerbread house, maybe put in a couple more candies, you know? It to be very bright and eye-catching as well. So I put the bright colors in, the green, the sky, the pink clouds, the bright yellow lemon in the skies, the sun. I feel like I wanted to make it very bright and eye-catching for children and adults because I feel like in adult life, especially modern society, we lack a lot of color. Everything's gray and black and white. Everything's in monotone, monotone colors. We don't have much color anymore, so like slapping a lot of that color in there was a good idea. Some of the dislikes that I had for this painting was just the sheer size of it, number one. It took me uh, over 40 hours to paint, so it was a very big painting that I did, and it took months and months. 40 hours wasn't just straight 40 hours, it was built up over days of work. I would be going to work and then coming back and working on Candyland at night and then going back to sleep and then going to work the next day. So it took a lot out of me. But I feel like since I had like the deadline in mind and stuff and I was going to submit this, I wanted to get it done quick. That was also like a constraint for me that I wanted to get it done quick, I wanted to get it done, so I feel like I left out on quite a few of the things I wanted to do. In the original concept, I was going to do a lot more of animals, like gummy bear pigs and, well, gummy bears and stuff like that, but I never got to do that in the final product. But overall, I'm excited and happy about how it turned out because I like how it looks, I like how it gets my concept across of just having, like, having fun on a canvas and throwing everything in there, pancakes, donuts, gelatin, you know, whatever I wanted to put in, I put in there. So now moving on to Far From Home. Far From Home is the snowy landscape that I did with the snowy mountains and the cowboy at the bottom with the little horse. I feel like this one, I didn't spend as much time as the, what was it called, Candyland landscape. But I did spend still a lot of time, I want to say at least 25 to 30 hours on the Far From Home piece. I worked a lot on the mountains. I started, I worked in so many layers for the mountains. I started them all black and then I layered them on. And as I added more and more layers, they just slowly took shape and started to look really good. And then by the time I was done with all the mountains, I was three days away from the deadline. And I was kind of slacking because I had the mountains done. It would have been easy. You know, coming up, the last day came up and I only had mountains. So I had to rush and do all of the snow in the foreground, all the trees, the cowboy, all the rocks and stuff too. So that part was really rushed. I feel like that's one thing I wanted to spend more time on would be the character in the piece. Because it doesn't really look too good in my opinion. But then again... That could be the whole, you know, divide with realism and not real, I guess. So, maybe it looks good to some people. But overall, I like how it turned out. I feel like a lot of the things I like is that I don't normally do snowy landscapes. I normally just do mountains and 
grassy areas but for this one I wanted to do snowy because to give it a like a how do you say it like the feeling that the cowboy was really far from wherever he started and he had been so far but he wanted to go home and feel the comfort of home I feel like I wanted to convey that in that piece that because it was cold and lonely it's only that cowboy and his horse I bet the cowboy and the horse are very bonded and being in that cold, but you got to feel like the cowboy is very lonely, missing his friends, his family, whoever he wanted to do. Made a whole story about it, that he was leaving his camp to go find a better hideout, and he had traveled for weeks, and now he's really far from home, and that's why I titled it Far From Home. And then the last piece that I... I'm going to talk about is a work in progress piece that I've got currently going. I'm just going to call it the mountain trip piece or mountain hike for now because it's a work in progress. Basically, I'm doing the Vasquez Rocks um, mountain range and I'm trying to put that in a canvas. I'm going to have a couple of clips in the beginning of the video or end, I'm not too sure how I'm going to structure it just yet, but I want to work more in the mountains, I feel like for this one I've really been slacking, I started it a couple months ago, but then I just left it, because I'm really scared to start the mountains, because of how they are shaped and stuff, and because it's the, what is it, the, the fault line and stuff, how the mountains are shaped differently, I feel like that's going to be hard to put on a canvas. I know how to make normal mountains with the ridges and all that, but these ones are shaped very smooth, and I feel like it's going to be hard to put that on a con like canvas. I feel like I give myself too much time to think about it, and then I end up doing it anyways, so I feel like I just need to do it, get the motivation, and do it, and find the hours one of these nights. I feel like my main like likes for this piece because of the concept of it i live around the area of, of where this is taken so a lot of the plants and the wildlife are familiar to me so it's really fun to be painting something that i'm living around it feels nice to kind of represent the community i guess <laughs> um another thing that i like about this painting is that i have a really good memory behind this canvas me, my girlfriend, and my sister, we went on a nice hike, and it was a very enjoyable hike. We remember just looking at the mountains, and the mountains were so massive, and we're standing there so little. It's just, it's a very nice memory that I have that I'm going to be putting into this painting because I went. So, this is based off a picture that I took from where we went. Another thing that I like with this one is because of the mountains and stuff I'm gonna be learning new techniques to be doing the mountains and doing the painting painting brush instead of like trees and stuff like evergreens and ferns I'm gonna be doing Joshua trees and junipers so I feel like that's a little bit different but I like that I'm challenging myself so I could have that available availability to do it in my next paintings or you know so on so back going to Candyland, I wanted to get the basic vibe and emotion of childhood, feeling good, feeling happy, feeling joy, and not really having a care. Like you see with that Candyland, it doesn't really make sense, but who cares? It's not supposed to. I feel like I want to have the world, you know, be a little less serious and accept it for what it is. It's a Candyland. I named it Candyland with a chance of toothache for crying out loud, so... Whatever, you know, wanted to mess around on a big canvas and just get a lot of ideas out and kind of test my creative ability too, so with that one, if it looks a little bit clustered and, how do you say it, crowded, that's why. For the Far From Home one, I wanted to convey more of a snowy, cold environment with a lonely aspect where it feels like you're really far from everyone. And I feel like I nailed that pretty good, because looking at it, you feel like he's cold in the middle of nowhere. He doesn't know how to get home. And I feel like that one came across very good. And I wanted to 
also put in this, like, for this one, because of the mountains and stuff, and how I layered them, I wanted to show how big the world actually is, because one of my favorite things is just driving, because you can go driving, and you just go driving for hours in one direction, and it just keeps going, unless you hit the ocean, or, you know, a lake or something, but the world is so massive, and I wanted to kind of put that in this painting. Um, let me see. Also, have some notes written here in case I forget, so... I'm not really that professional, so I gotta keep stuff written down, because I'm very forgetful. Sorry if that's unprofessional, but... Gotta do it to remain professional. So the final thing for the Arthur, the Far From Home painting, was that I wanted to basically, because of our cowboy here, traveling so far from home, say he's a cowboy in a western society, he goes all the way to the snow and the mountains, and just with his horse for an adventure, I feel like I want to push the message of rejecting modern society and, you know, getting a job, getting a house, and just, you know, exploring the world, traveling, getting to know everything, you know. I'm not saying that you shouldn't have a job. Everyone needs a job. Everyone needs to make money. Everyone needs to do something, but... I feel like exploring the world is the main part of human, the human experience when we're on this world. When we're on this world to explore and to experience it, so why not experience it? I kind of rambled on for a little bit, but that's probably going to wrap up this video. I'm not too sure how long it is. I'm going to be trying to get back into filming more videos because a big thing just happened in my life. My dad, he just passed away, so... There's a lot going on with that, and so I didn't really want to film any videos for a long time because I'm very depressed about everything that's happening, but hey, you never know, maybe making some of these YouTube videos get my mind off of it, you know? And especially painting, I feel like I'm putting more time to my social media and putting more time to my painting, so let's see how this goes, and I will see you guys in the next video, peace and love. Um, let's see, start a conversation in the comments, what is your favorite color and why? Why do you like that color and everything? So, I will see you guys in the next video, peace out.